All right, welcome back. Um, in the previous episode, we started exploring the dormitory, I guess it is. I thought it was like a gardener shed kind of thing, but apparently it's a dormitory with sharks in the basement. Ah, let's see here. We got ourselves another dormitory key. We'll check that out. Um, it says 003 on it. I think I know where we're going with that, and I do believe that uh, I know what's coming up. Um, going back to the previous episode, um, clips. The reason a magazine shouldn't be called a clip is that a clip and a magazine are two very different things. Um, just like, uh, what's a good example? A cup and a mug. They both hold liquid, you, bo you drink from both of them, however, a cup and a mug are two very different things. They have different uses. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. I did not mean to tap the mic. Really hope that's not too loud. And, eh, I'll catch it when I edit it. I also apologize for the cough. So, a whoa, you are all up in my grill. Back up. Okay, so a, uh, a magazine is uh, sometimes removable, sometimes not. In this case, for this handgun that we see here, it's they're, they're removable magazines, which means you can actually take it out of the uh, out of the gun, out of the firearm. Um, I'm actually gonna make a trip to the box before uh, before we get too far into this. But uh, a magazine. Um, oh, here we go. The Jolt Report. Is that like uh, umbrella chemicals? Anyway. Magazine goes in the gun. It directly feeds bullets into the chamber. Typically you're going to have a... Well, actually always you're going to have the body of the magazine which is like the outside you have a follower which is the thing that actually goes underneath the bullets and that has a spring that pushes up on it pushes them up into place the gun picks up the rest the bullet i should say now clips are typically just stamp steel little pieces that hold bullets before they're fed into the magazine so easy way to remember, this is how I was taught how to remember it, just because, um, I mean, I grew up in a family where my dad taught me to shoot, I, I was shot with him, shot with my grandpa, that kind of thing, but, um, those, uh, yeah, we're gonna take the bazooka with us, um, the easiest way I was taught to remember it is that clips feed magazines, and magazines feed the gun itself. Because a clip usually doesn't have a spring. Sometimes they have little springs to help retain the rounds, but they don't have a follower. Um, and with a couple of small exceptions, they don't actually go into the gun. You put them on the gun, you feed them, you know, like a stripper clip. You would uh, slide into usually a slot on top of the gun. You push the rounds out of the clip into the magazine that's inside the gun and then remove the clip, and then the magazine takes over feeding the, uh, feeding the gun at that point. But, um, there are a few exceptions to the rule where the clip actually goes into the gun and stays behind in the gun. One being, uh, the M1 Garand. Um... One herb is enough for this and the ammo I brought. Them. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. I'm sorry. Um, I know it's 
especially in America right now, because we're kind of a touchy subject. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is this? Barry! Jill! Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe... What the hell is this place anyway? Ah, good old Barry. Anyway, I'm sorry I bring it up. Um, ah, ooh, mansion key. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Um, they're, you know, it's kind of related because... Oh, it came up because of something in the game, but... Anyway, I don't, I don't want anyone out there to think I'm some kind of gun nut or something like that. You know, I know the the media paints a really scary picture on guns, but you know, puts food on the table. Wesker, Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. Bean. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is, is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Sorry about that weird movement there. Apparently my I was hitting the analog stick, and I'm, I'm assuming it's not it's not configured right or something. Cause yeah, obviously couldn't do it. Okay, so what did we get now? What is this? Helmet key. All right, helmet. That's the that's the one we needed, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the one that uh, all the doors we couldn't get into. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to the mansion then. <laughs> go open up some doughs. But yeah, I know I know guns in America especially is a touchy subject and I don't mean to bring it up, but I try to inform. I was raised around them. This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. Thanks, Richard. Thank you for giving us a broken radio. And after we try to save your life. So yeah, touchy subject. I don't mean to bring it up, but... I do try to inform people, just because there's a lot of misinformation out there, especially that you get from the media. And you know what? I have no I have no problem with anyone if you know they are. I hate to use this word, but like anti-gun. I have nothing wrong with that. I 
I have some, you know, some people in the family that are that way, and, you know, we have very healthy relationships. But, the, pro the problem is you, you have people that are, that, uh, what's it called, that are misinformed. We'll, we'll call it misinformed, because that's, yeah, that's the word for it, misinformed. And they, they just know what the news tells them. And a lot of times the news doesn't always tell the truth. Especially some of those news sources out there. We won't drop any names, but, uh... Yeah, there's some very unscrupulous news sources out there. I definitely don't remember this. What the? Nope, he's not dead. I didn't know hunters were in this game. I thought those were like a newer Resident Evil thing. Were those in number two? No, there's no hunters in number two. Number three? I don't think there is. Oh no, number three there is. There, yeah, there's hunters in number th three. I didn't think they were in number number one though. That's. <gasps> No, I already turned the lights on. Oh, haha. <laughs> okay, so, going, uh, going back to the story from, I think, episode one or two. This item here perplexed me to no end when, uh, I first started playing this. Because later, you, uh, you have a need for some stuff. And one of the things says eagles, and one of them says wolf. And I couldn't figure out where to get these items that they were talking about. I tried to use the books on it because this book, there's another one of these books, mind you. It says Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. I examined it to no end. Couldn't figure out what to do. And, you know, nothing important. Yep, it's a book. I don't know why you keep looking at this book. Anyway, I got stuck in this game for months until I discovered, because a friend of mine had the strategy guide, if you click on the side of it, you open it and there's a metal. That was not fair back in 1996. 90, I keep saying 96 is when this game came out. I don't even know that for sure, but I think it was like 96. I don't know. For the 90s, being the first game in this series, that was very unfair. Alright, I think... Yeah, there's a save point. I, I really need to save. I haven't saved in a long time. That music's different, isn't it? Oh, whoa. I don't like these things running around. It's got me scared. Ooh, goodies. See, here's what I don't get. Okay. So, the, develop the developers of this game, kind of going back to that rant a little bit. I'm not trying to go back to that rant. I'm trying to trying to get away from that rant as much as possible. Um, the developers knew that they were called shotgun shells. They named them shells. Yet, the magazine for the handgun is a clip. Oh, no, that's fire. Oh, no, we're going to save. That's right. Uh, maybe we won't be saving. 
Hang tight. Just made a safe state here because I don't have any ink ribbons and uh, I think I know what's coming up. It's been, oh, what's that note say? It's been way too long since I saved. Oh, thanks, Barry. Now, I think I know what's coming up, and I think I should have wanted to save before it. <laughs> save state. I try not to use save states, especially on a let's play like this. But, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. This time I'm glad I did, because that's a lot of stuff to do over if I, uh, if I mess this up. No foul. I would have much rather have had that safe state there just in case than uh, end up needing it and not having it. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. I'm itchy. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Such corny dialogue. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Ba Barry? Barry? Okay, that stuff right there, I tried for the longest time as a kid to figure out what it is. And I've, I've concluded it's just the floor. Where the snake punched through the floor. Oh, sorry. I keep I keep looking over here, trying to keep an eye on the time. I know it makes makes me look all shifty the way I keep looking like that. a lot of doors, but I guess that's what happens when you're the master of unlocking. You are clearly alive. Another one of 
those things. Oh, whew. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy did a lot of damage really fast. Wonder if he's like a special zombie or something. That's the hole where we first find uh, that first first zombie at the very beginning of the game with uh, the one that killed. Um, uh, I don't remember his name. It's not Forrest. Forrest is the guy who was pecked to death. Enrique? Maybe it's not Enrique. I don't know. Very beginning of the game. That's not the way. This game's coming back to me now. This music... This music is straight fire right here. I don't know. I try to, I try to use modern slang. It doesn't work usually. I'm not hip with the times. I don't know what all this fire and whoa, 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 whoa. I think fire and on point mean the same thing. I think those mean good. pre-rendered graphics or pre-rendered backgrounds. Everything that does something is very easy to see. What is this? I don't like the look of this room. What is that? I feel like if I pick that up something's going to come through that window. Are ink ribbons worth it? No. No, we've we've been making good progress, and I've been having pretty good luck. So hopefully, God, I hope that wasn't a mistake not taking those. But at the same time, what if I took them and then like a bunch of hunters come through the window and just murder me? Or even worse, something else. What are you? see what you did there. That light just shows me that that square is different. Okay. That makes sense. We're coming up on the end of the episode.
floppy disk. A mo disk. Yeah, it'll probably be probably be important. And mo disk. That's funny that those are in here. It, oh, had this game been developed in America or you know a lot of uh, other countries, it would have been a floppy disk. But in Japan, you have magnetic optical disks. They're actually pretty popular. Oh, this music. This music's, this music's where it's at. Oh. Battery in the courtyard. There's grenades in here too. Guess I made my choice. Uh, maybe I'll come back for the grenades. I don't. I don't think I'll need them. I have a lot of grenades in the chest. Box. Whoa! Approaching that 30 minute mark here. Uh, I wanted to do so much more. And this will probably. No, I could get one more ep episode in. I might be able to finish the game on the next episode. I think. Ah! Seems ninjas? I'm going to cut the episode here, um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go through all of that, that that I did from that last save up until there. I'm going to go, go ahead and do all that, and then I'll start recording the next episode. So I'll pick up the next episode basically just before I go through that door where those two hunters are, that apparently demol- just- ugh. Anyway, let's end on a happy note. I appreciate you all coming in and watching me. 
I know you guys have stuff to do with your lives, and it it makes me happy knowing that people are actually coming to watch. I hope I'm not saying that too soon. I know, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening. Till next time.